as we move forward, we need to think about the fact that there are two kinds of numbers. The first kind is called scalar. And if I had to define a scalar, I would say it is the numbers, the scalars will say plural, the numbers that you know and love, such as your age, right? That's a scalar. TV channel, scalar. Just the numbers you're used to. I had some other examples from your youth here. Your SAT score is a scalar. And getting more back to the world of physics, mass, which we're gonna talk about this week, is a scalar. Energy is a scalar. Your cell phone number is a scalar, right? All those numbers that you're familiar with, scalar numbers, just plain old numbers, the ones you do algebra with, the ones you add, the ones you subtract. The other kind of number, though, that will concern us are vectors. All right, so what is a vector? It's a number that represents a quantity with a direction. Okay. And I'll add in parentheses, it has metadata is a way to think of it. It's not just the number, it's the number and the direction. It actually takes two numbers to specify a vector. One pretty much represents the amount, the size, and one represents the direction, although there's a few different ways to give those two numbers. So some examples are from uh, the first week of the class. We had velocity, that's specified with a vector. We had acceleration, that's specified with a vector. There aren't quite as many from your normal life that you think of, if you think of the wind speed, right? When you think about the wind, you don't just care about how fast the wind is going, but you usually care about the direction, maybe. Um, and weight, your weight is a vector because it has a direction always down, okay? So you're good with scalars. What we're gonna do now is spend a board or two on how we describe and use and manipulate vectors.